aged 24 years, has been reported dead following an upsurge outbreak of uh, Ebola at Ngabano village, Mubede district in the Republic of Uganda. Confirming the case, WHO Permanent Secretary Diana Atwine stated that the patient experienced high fever, loss of appetite, cough and uh, deteriorating health. This comes as uh, the disease strikes again the country after a decade since 2012. Moses Okech report. Health authorities in Uganda have declared an outbreak of Ebola after a case of the Sudan Ebola virus was confirmed in Murende district in the central part of the country. The Uganda Virus Institute has confirmed a single death so far, also following six suspicious deaths this month on an investigation done by the National Rapid Response Team. In a statement, the World Health Organization Regional Director for Africa, Dr. Machidi Somoiti, stated, and I quote, this is the time in more than a decade that Uganda is recording an outbreak of Sudan Ebola virus. We are working closely with the national health authorities to investigate the source of this outbreak while supporting the efforts to quickly roll out effective control measures. With eight suspected cases of patients with the virus receiving care in a health facility, Dr. Moite adds, Uganda is no stranger to effective Ebola control. Thanks to its expertise, action has been taken to quickly detect the virus and we can bank on this knowledge to halt the spread of the infection. Confirming the first case of the Ebola virus, World Health Organization Permanent Secretary Dr. Diana Atwine says, One suspected case of viral hemorrhagic fever was identified and isolated in Mobende Regional Referral Hospital. Atwini adds that the infected is a 24-year-old man who had experienced symptoms that saw his health deteriorating, forcing an order to an isolation room. He deteriorated, developed the, the, uh, the yellowing of eyes. He started passing out tea-colored urine and also complained of severe abdominal pain. Ebola is a severe, often fatal illness affecting humans and other primates. The case fatality rates of the Sudan virus has varied from 41% to 100% in past outbreaks. The organization has dispatched supplies to support the care of patients and is sending a tent that will be used to isolate patients. Moses Sokic, Look Up TV.